Thank you. 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 What's going on, you guys? Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Whether you celebrate it or not, happy Thanksgiving. Tank Davis comes out and says he wants his walking papers from Mayweather Promotions, right? I got it on the screen for you, the tweet that he came out and said. Now, if you've been following Tank Davis' career, it's been up and down with him and Floyd Mayweather for quite some time, right? It's been up and down with those two guys. Um, one may question, why isn't Floyd Mayweather promoting or staying focused on Javante Tank Davis' career like he should. It's been a lot of things that happened over the years between those two guys. Um, Tank Davis um, messing around with one of Floyd's, uh, what, is it, what, is it, what is it, a side piece or something like that, right? One of his chicks. Tank Davis allegedly messing with his daughter. You know, all, all kinds of stuff, right? Floyd Mayweather trying to get him to come out there to Las Vegas to train to get out of the hood, to move his mom and them out there to Las Vegas. Tank didn't do it. He spent the money on the truck. It's a lot of things that Tank Davis did that's probably led Floyd Mayweather to be a little more, you know, um, not as in the forefront or not promote Tank like he should, okay? Tank Davis comes out and says, look, man, I want my walking papers. I'm dealing directly with Al Heyman. Now, there's this, there's this, this, this mysterious text message that's going around. All the boxing journalists are getting it. Guys like Dan Rayfield, Mike Cappinger, all these dudes are getting this, 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 this text message saying that Tank Davis is no longer with Mayweather Promotions, but Leonard Ellaby. He's um, working directly with Al Heyman. Now, this puts Al Heyman in a tight spot because he's in between the both of these guys. He's advising both of these guys' careers, right? Um, and it puts him in, a, in, in quite a position, right? So, is this the right move for Tank Davis? I think at this point, I believe so. Sometimes you kind of outgrow. Sometimes it's time to go. You're like Tank Davis is now almost thirty years old. He's a he's a he's a star in the sport of boxing. He's a he's a guy that can really he really don't need a promoter at this point. So he's probably gonna be directly working with Showtime and Steven Espinosa from here on out. I think that's the best move for Tank Davis at this point. If Floyd Mayweather isn't putting his best effort to promote you as a fighter and do what he needs to do. Now, Floyd Mayweather did a good job of building Tank up and getting him in position and things of that nature, right? But as far as the past well, maybe three years, things has been kind of rocky between those two guys. So I think eventually it's time to move on, you know. Um, after his last fight, Rolando Romero, he said TMT for life or something like that, but... There's a cool down period um, once you at the end of the contract. Somewhere. It's like a cool down period to where it gives your original promoter time to work something out. So that means no, no Eddie Hearn, no Golden Boy, nobody can really mess with you for about a certain amount of months, right? After your contract is up, something like that, right? Call a cool down period. So now it seems like that cool down period may be over, but Tank Davis is going to be dealing directly with um, Al Heyman and Showtime from here on out. So will we still see. These more intriguing matchups with Tank Davis, with some of the other guys, some of the other top lightweights and the junior welterweights that's on the other side. Who knows, right? They may have to come over there to Showtime. But yeah, man, Tank Davis wants his walking papers for Floyd Mayweather. I think that's a good move for Tank Davis. Um, I'm, it's not really Floyd Mayweather. It hasn't really been focused on his fighters like he should. Not just Tank, but a lot of other guys in TMT as well. Um, we're going to see what happens. Tank Davis got a fight with Hector Garcia coming up. I think that's a real fight. So he tell you, Hector Garcia is a live dog. And then Ryan Garcia, he has a tune-up coming up as well. So then both of those guys are going to eventually meet sometime early next year. We'll see what happens. Like, subscribe, hot your boy. Peace out.